Hi guys. guys. Today we are back again. Yeah. Today's a different day though. Me and Alyssa are kind of matching. <laughs> yeah. Twinning. But today is a very special video. We are going to show you some simple taming tricks. So we're going to be showing you how, well like the start art on how to tame your birds. Yeah. This might not work with all birds, but you know, this is the, the taming trick that we for, know. We know for budgies. So yeah. Yeah. So let's just go over here. So as you know, there's Nika, there's Misty, and that's Fred. They, no, they do. I had, as you seen in the last video, we did like some salad and stuff. I don't think they like this salad, but you know. Because. But what we're going to do, we're going to start with when you first get your birds, you're going to have to leave them for a couple of days in the cage, whether they're there's just one or there's three, just leave them in there. At night, cover them up, and then after like. Three, two, three days, I say, <laughs> you will start to be able to put your hands near the cage. So, like, start putting your hands, like, at the side, at the front, and just, the get, them and just get them used to your hand. Yeah. And then after you've done that... Like, after a few weeks, then... After they're used to your hand, you can start putting your hand in the cage and just, like, put it there and leave it there. See, my birds are tame, so they're not... They don't really care. So, they'll just... Yeah. After you've done that... You would put some food, which is down there. You put, you could put some seeds in your hand. Start putting it in, and if they are hungry, they will obviously come and eat from your hand. That's a good sign. So my birds are probably not hungry, so they're probably not going to do that. But oh, here's Fred. See, Fred's alright. Look, see, I could just stroke his foot. He don't mind. After that. You're obviously going to start leaving the cage door open. So if you've got a big door or you've got a slidey up one, what I use, I use these little like peg things and I'll I like do that. Or you can leave the big bit open. You can leave both of them. And then you'll be, if you leave this open, you can like go and watch TV or do your own thing. And Don't then, bother about the birds. Don't keep putting your hand in and try to grab them out. Just leave them to do what they're doing. Yeah. And they'll just gradually come out, like Fred did the first time I got Fred. <laughs> he kind of flew out the cage, and he landed on that photo frame up there. Anyway. And he pooped on it. <laughs> so, you just leave them there. They'll, they'll get used to coming out. Yeah. If you've got, like, a tree like me, they'll get used to coming flying and sitting on here, because that's their safe place. So, like my birds, they obviously know that they can either go, go in the cage, go on top of cage or go on the tree we have a special or go on the telly we have two tellies so they usually go on this telly they can't they don't want that telly or they can go up here they like to go up there as well or if they fly they go on the curtain pole which is a good place for your bird to go actually yeah. so after you've done that you're obviously going to start you're going to keep introducing your hand to them so you're going to have to keep feeding them millet is a good choice as well because yes. birds love millet as you can see fred's eating that chopped up millet over there that we we did yesterday. So he's just happy eating that. He, he they'll eat that all day long if you give them that, and obviously give them treats as they well. They have ate some of this. We did put this in here yesterday. So look, missed. There we go. Look, he just threw some of his millet. This is like it was like full, and now it's like like the millet's like chopped up. So I'm just gonna all birds love it. You, a bird is not a bird if they don't love millet, okay? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. So after you've been doing that, you're gonna obviously start. Like, the birds are going to start getting used to your hand, obviously. So if one day your hand is in there and they are on your hand eating the food, slowly bring it out the cage and come away from the cage. Say I've got a bird on my hand, for instance. And then just stand here for a bit. They might fly back onto the cage or somewhere near the cage, but they're going to get used to your hand, like, being away from the cage. Yeah. So once you've done that, they're, gonna, they're obviously going to get used to sitting on your hand, so they're not going to need to fly away. Or if you if you're finding that a bit trickier, when you're getting your birds out, take the cage away, take the cage to a different room, or take your birds to a different room, just so they haven't got their comfort space to fly back to. Yeah. Like sometimes they do land on the bed. Oh, there's poop in my case. <laughs> oh no, that's just chocolate. Yeah. Anyway, so after you've been doing that, you, they're going to get used to you even more. Yeah. And then you can start doing some tricks with them. Once they're sitting up, you. You're going to, like, be able to pick them up without using a temptation, which is, like, your food. So you're going to be able to put the thing... You put, you're going to be able to put your hand in there, and you'll just 
do the easy step up method. You just tell them to step up, step just up. so they know what step up means. As you can see, Nico's just done it now. Step up. Good boy. Step up, mess. What all you have to do is just get your finger and so, push it towards their belly, and it. they'll. Well, Misty don't really. Misty's just like, nope, I don't want to step up this time. And then Fred just, Fred just a grumpy old man, so he, he's not even old. I just call him old man. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So Come on. once you get them to step up, um, and they're out of the cage, and you can just step up and carry them around anywhere you want. You're going to start doing a trick, a simple, easy trick. And I'm going to demonstrate this one. If Alyssa can just point the camera to the birds, I'm going to use Nico for this one. Because he's the I'm going to need to, like, grab him, so... He's not going to fly, so if he falls down, it's... It's okay, guys. Oops. <laughs> so you're going to bring him up, like, away. You're going to do a step up. So you've got him on one finger. And then you're going to put that in there. Step up again. Step up again. Step, step up, up again. I'm just going to make him keep stepping up so he's used to it as in fly. <laughs> or it flies away. So he is the most cute little... We'll try to do it on the other You're just going to keep stepping up. You're just going to do as fast as you can. And once you get to step up, if he doesn't fly away, he's going to fly. You can do step down. That's... <laughs> <laughs> but obviously he's going to fly away because he wants to get back to his friends. So you're going to go step back. Step back. As you can see, he's stepping back. I'm gonna go. <laughs> You're good at catching. And he just died. He didn't. Die. Right, let's put him back in his cage. So. So that's that's the that's the taming part of this process. So you're getting him to step up. You can do the step up game, which I've just demonstrated. Wait, he looks Nico. No, he's just fat. <laughs> so. That's probably the, e this, this is the way that I tame them. And obviously if you're wondering about the clip wings kind of process, um, with me, it's a 50-50. Yeah. I'll start training my bird and if they literally just come out of the cage and fly around and I cannot get to them anyhow, I will clip their wings, but I won't clip them so much that they can't fly at all. Obviously like Misty, if you've seen, she can fly, but she can't. She can fly more than she can't, if that makes sense. But with Nico, He's been clipped for what a while. This is a, a thing that you might get with your bird. So you're going to clip them, and it's going to be short. But because they're going to keep flying into things, it's going to break their flight feathers. And they're probably... In, I don't... I think Nika's will grow back, but it's obviously going to take a long process to do that. So, yeah. So you can either do that or don't. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong with clipping wings, I yeah, think. It's not, it's not like animal cruelty or something. It's what uh, it's, it's how you train them. Exactly. You can train. You can clip their wings, tame them, and then by the time they're fully tamed, their wings will grow back. So you've got a flying bird that you can sh that you can sit on your finger in anyway. So I don't think it really makes no difference. Mm. So like because Misty is a baby, by the time she gets about one, she'll be like flying around my bedroom everywhere. Mm. Probably even like. She'll probably even fly, start flying earlier, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that short video. And this is the stand there. <coughs> Remember to like and subscribe. subscribe. And actually, Alicia, what's the challenge for today? Um, Sorry about that, that's my mum. Talk then. Um, Just like, subscribe. Mm, seven seconds. <laughs> seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You did it. <laughs> okay. So Alicia is just Alicia. She's just a weirdo, you know. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And comment any more suggestions because literally no one's commenting. So we need some suggestions because that's we're gonna run out of ideas, and that's not gonna be good. Ugh, we we need to do an Avery tour. We need to do that. I've been meaning to do that for like the past three days. We'll probably be doing it within one today or tomorrow so thanks for watching bye. tune in for next video bye um yeah bye yeah. bye